Hello, good. This is Marishi of my channel Tuluka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for this week. Where goes out there? Show me now I see. The first card is an ace of broad. Beautiful. Beautiful. You are ready. Okay? To take that leap of faith. To take that chance. To grab onto an opportunity which is out there. You are ready. Okay? There is something out there which is tempting. You don't know whether it's for you or not, but then you're going for it. You're going for it whatsoever. You're ready to grab this opportunity. It's, it's something new, but it has great potential. Nice. What goes out there? What else? What else do we need to hear right now? It's, uh, it seems like it's going to take you out of a phase in your life which is like very stagnant, which is very dry. This is like, you know, it is going to shake things up. What else, please? Your next card is a five of swords. It's almost like um, there is others, okay? There is others... Um, who is also aiming to have this, okay? There might be competition and you need to prove yourself to show them you deserve it more than the others. Does that make sense? You need to fight these people out before You can have this. Okay? Very competitive. Very competitive uh, energy about this. For things to manifest, for things to work out the way you want it, how you're envisioning it, for things to come through, hmm? you need to be very competitive. You, you gotta prove yourself. That's how it's coming through. You gotta prove yourself. Very nice. Virgo. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Virgos out there. What else do you need to hear right now? It's just why I spoke earlier. You're ready to shake things up. Yeah? It's it's like it's going to shake your life turn things around for you okay if if it's dry this opportunity which you're aiming for is going to shake things up hmm? there is this expansive energy about you once you have it it's going to uh, open up doors for you if that makes sense This opportunity will bring things, um, bring more, more abundance into your life. Does that make sense? Yeah. There is abundance, there is expansion. So Tower is not all about, you know, oh my God. It's like, oh my God, wow. It's, it's a good energy as well. And, you know, depending on the circumstances. Okay? Depending on your situation, it could mean differently. So in your case, it's going to be good. Three of Pentacles. Yeah? You have to put in the effort. Put in um, the work. It could be a work situation as well. 
you have to make it work for you for that you have to put in the effort yeah? you literally need to fight it out nice Virgo what else please the next card is a justice card in reverse Ooh. that's interesting it's just contradicting to what I said um, it seems like you might have been wronged previously okay hanged man um, you're going through a phase where you have been wronged and now you're taking charge of your life to turn things around, you're willing to stand up for yourself to prove, okay, the people who are against you, who is doing the wrong towards you, you're going to stand up to them. You're bringing in this um, tower. You are the one who is initiating this tower in your life. Because you're tired hanging in there. You're just tired. You're literally, you know, rolling your sleeves up and getting dirty. You don't mind it anymore. Because it's way better than hanging there. What goes on there? What else, please? Your next card is the Nine of Pentacles. It seems like you're by yourself. Even when I'm looking at the five swords, we're looking at one person who's standing there with all the swords and everybody has walked out. So it's, it's, it's like confronting. There is a confrontational energy about you. Okay, nobody might be stuck. Uh, you don't have the support of anyone around you, but you are making things work for you. You're standing up for yourself. You're standing your ground. You're enough to, uh, you know, to justify, you know? you you are the advocate for yourself. Even if others are not standing up for yourself, it doesn't matter. Because you are enough. Okay? Centered reading is a nine of pentacles. So it is around you. Things are around you. You are the... Um, Initiator, you are instigating this tower moment in your life. You are fighting a battle right now because you are aiming for something. Okay, you are not giving up on this anymore because you're done with all the injustice in your life so far. You're not willing to give that up. It wants, you know, you're just moving. Has, I showed you the hangman. Hangman is all about you not know, thinking, laying there and wondering what will happen and all that. It's, it's a thinking process. There is a stagnancy there. Trying to understand, trying to get enlightened about you know, your situation, all that. But now what I see is you're instigating that tower. You are willing to take action to move forward. Fast moving card. There is this contradiction about, you know, dead face, and then we have the fast moving um, energy here. Now, it could be from your throat as well, because I see a mercury energy in there with the tower speaking out your throat. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Libra or an Aquarius. What else, please? She's ready for a battle. What else, please? Where it goes out there? Your next card is an Eye of Cups. 
you were to bring a balance within your life or a situation okay as i said previously you are the one who is making things shake up okay when i'm looking at the tower as well as the knight of cups you are the one who is putting it out there okay it's it's almost like when i'm looking at the card there is this lava in this cup of yours and whoever you pour it to okay this is graphic but it's going to burn them no i don't see it in a love situation for some reason i don't feel it as a love situation but it could be okay but wherever it is it is uh, waiting to erupt it's it's just boiling it's that hot it's always like a, a volcano is erupting once you put it out there once you offer it something is on offer okay or you have to put out uh something what else you standing up a fight i can't get um uh get over that fact you standing up a fight for yourself and you're up against so many people okay with that fire sword and this ana uh, pentacles you're up against so many people what else please what goes out there your next card is this one though three of pentacles and this one king of rods so you're going to work on this whole situation okay how you going to go about this how you going to approach the situation how do i make this work in my favor how do i fix this injustice which is happening in my life all that okay you putting in that effort in there you are being very calculative about this how do i you know fight this battle by myself hmm huh? to get the stability back in my life to make things solid in my life again you're working on this some of you might be dealing with a capricorn energy aquarius or pisces what else please what goes out there this might be a work situation as well cuz i'm looking at the five swords and the three of pentacles this might be a work situation what else what goes out there I just thought about a client of mine and uh she knows who she is but it seems like uh her situation as well I need to respond to your emails anyways um Virgo what else uh in the past there might have been so much which had felt like a betrayal okay you might have felt people have betrayed you there is three swords on your in your heart okay wow where is it some of you might be dealing with a scorpio or a libra yeah in the past people might have betrayed you people who were close to you betrayed you all that Okay. You seem to be coming through as the queen of cups who is a giver. It's very sensitive as well. Very nurturing energy. You just kept taking it. What else please? Uh it seems like uh you were taking charge of your life again. You're taking charge of uh the rains are okay, bringing things back on track you know because it's all over the place now you're like fuck it i need to take charge i need to do it my way okay this is your next card which is a magician okay you are 
the one who is going to turn things around. You are the one who is going to bring that tower. You know? You're going to make that volcano erupt because it has been boiling inside you for quite some time. Because you got to do it in order to have this. Okay? You, you're charging for what I showed you the um, chariot card. Some of you might be dealing with a cancer. Um, or Gemma. So it's like you need to have the reins over this whole situation. So, you know, you have the power in your hand. What I'm having that, um, the vision I was having was like, you know, some people, I don't know, if, yeah, the with the, the backside of the horse to make it move, right? Yeah, that still happens in polo and all you see them whipping. It's like you need to have that whip in your hand to take charge of how things are going, okay? You literally whipping asses. You're going to manifest the power back in your life, okay? Having that grip over the situation again in your life. Uh, what else? There is this, uh, there is this focus on your throat, okay? The way you're going to fight it out could be something to do with the mercury, you know? Communication. That is how you're going to shake things up. What else please? What is the last card for the workers out there? Your next card is the Two of Swords. Some of you might be thinking, how do I go about this? How do I make this work? You know, you're just standing, um, standing up for yourself, but you're still trying to figure it out. Okay, because this person has still uh, the blindfold still, okay? And they are trying to make a choice. Which way to go? How do I go about it? Wh which, which, which would work, okay? Which approach would work? Hmm? So you need to make a choice how to um, counter, because counter the justice, in, injustice card, okay? The justice card in reverse. So you need to counter this, and you need to think about it, okay? So you're in the process of thinking it through. How do I bring this? How do I make that, you know? tower erupt okay this is all for your sake it's a very interesting reading for me because uh, it seems like you're doing everything because people are fucking with you right now screwing up your life and you're going to fuck them back okay as blood does that you're going to fuck them back so you let them know, don't play around with me, don't mess with me, okay? This is for your own well-being. This is whatever you're doing. Because I showed you the Queen of Cups earlier. Somebody who is a nurturer, somebody who takes it, okay? Literally the mother who keeps, uh, you know, people mess around with them and they're like, okay, the kids mess around, okay, okay, okay. Okay, but there is always that equilibrium. Okay, there is that level how much you can take bullshit. Once that's crossed, okay, once you know people are just messing with you every time, taking advantage of you, all that, that equilibrium is already crossed. You have enough. You're done taking, taking this crap. Okay, that's when the you know, the world cannot erupts, okay? So you're going to, you're done, okay? You're done dealing with this shit, and now you're going to do something about it for your own sake, okay? Huh. I did like to know what is going on. I did like to know what this is about. 
it's me being curious because it looks it looks nice. Okay. My mother is a Virgo. My best friend is a Virgo. I don't think so. They have anything to do with this. Okay. Let's see what the tower is about. You know, um, chariot, exactly. Exactly what I was speaking about. Taking charge of your life. See, this tower is your way of dealing with this whole situation. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian. Okay? Judgment. This is you going out there and showing the world this is how it is going to be. You know, you passing the verdict. You know, you're not going to be very subtle about it. You're going to, uh, you know, make it loud and clear. Yeah, you're going to make it loud and clear. Now you know why I want to know what's going on. Now what are you going to do about this? Because it's hard of it. This has to do with big structures, big organizations, marriage, whatever is official, whatever has a foundation, formal structures. A marriage is uh, a formal, uh, you know, commitment. You know, this could be a work situation organizations it's a formal structure court houses legalities we saw the judgment so the way you're going to do things is going to have a big bang yeah that kind of uh, yes you're very driven about this you're done uh, being in that stagnant phase taking their bullshit nine of rods all about you know charging forward with a drive with a passion exciting. I cannot help saying that. Your next card is this one though. Again, the night rolls. I'll keep that back. Uh, so yes, it's almost like you are transitioning from the past. Whatever was happening in the past, whatever wasn't working, you are ready to transition from there. Okay, I showed you the Knight of Rods. So you're taking charge of your life, again with the chariot as well, taking charge of your life, moving forward, leaving things which is dead in the past. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpion. Strong Scorpion energy. Give me one last card and we'll wind it up. Okay? Nine swords, nine rods. Oh my good lord. Yes. You're looking at the fool card. Let me explain the cards, okay? Nine swords is all about taking action, okay? Impulsive. Going for the kill, okay? This, this is a warrior. There is a warrior energy about him. You know, because his sword is bloody. There is blood stains on his sword. This person is all about going into a battlefield, going into war. Okay? Doesn't matter what the consequences could be. Okay? Because it's a fool's approach. Not knowing how things will turn out. Because there is two sides um, to the coin. Okay, there is a probability things going in your favor and things backfiring. But this person is not bothered about the consequences anymore. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with the Taurus or Gemini, strong Taurus in our junior reading. Very impulsive. Okay, very impulsive right now. You're not thinking about this anymore.
That's why I, uh, that's why I was trying to say you are done. Okay, your that tolerance level is over. You're way past it. Now you're reacting because it might be necessary right now to deal with them, to stand up for yourself, for your own sake. Let me see what this two of swords is about because it might seem a little incomplete. Because let's see. What this two of swords is about. Again, the same energy. Okay, this person hasn't pulled off his uh, blindfold. He hasn't come to that conclusion what needs to be done. Also, I do see this person is willing to go for it. Hermit is again looking into the dark, um, assessing the situation, okay, assessing all this uh, injustice which was happening, understanding the whole situation analyzing what needs to be done, how to go about it, how to counter this injustice. Again, the fool's approach. Um, some of you might be dealing with, oh, it's a worker card itself. Give me another one, another two of swords. Next card is this one, chariot. Yeah, again, if you look at this card, this, uh, this person is again blindfolded, okay? So, um, <clears throat> you feel stuck, you feel stuck up here, trying to come to that decision. It's, it's a challenging decision, it, it, it needs a lot of courage to do it, because whatever you're planning to do is big, and the consequences might uh, be big as well, okay? But what you're aiming is, this is rewards. But there is always a probability there. Huh? Give me one last card on this uh, two of swords, please. This one. I showed you the same damn card uh, while previously while I was taking out this uh, two of swords. So it is saying things will might as well go your way. Okay? If you play it right. Yes. There is this new renewal which is coming through. The happiness, the joy. Okay, if you see the cups and the rainbows and people having your hand. The world, it is all about rebirth, transitioning, renewal, things changing for the better. Okay? So I feel like, what are you thinking, what are you about to do, might be necessary. It is required out of you. Hmm? So, good luck. That's it for now. This is Marisha and you know what to do if this is your story and you are up to something. Let me know what that tower is about because I always keep thinking about yeah, what is this big master plan. So that's it for now. This is Marisha, you're my channel. I'd like to speak. Bye-bye.